All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I am Lee, he is Ben, and today is a first for Evil GT. I don't know how we've done it or how he's done it, but he's got us invited to a press event <laughs> for Audi. Well, do you want me to tell you how I did it? Go on. You might have the head of Audi UK, because oh, I'm, I'm a connection with him on LinkedIn. Mm. So I might have him, yeah. The only reason we're doing a dead long intro is, well, there might not be much content. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't know how long the video is going to be. Don't know how be. long the video is going to be. But there's so. loads of different cars. There's RS4s, fives, uh, the new Q4 e-tron, the new e-tron GT, R8. There's loads of stuff, so it'll be good. That it'll be dead good. Will it? Yeah, it'll be dead dead good. Well, you can be the judge of that because uh -huh. you you guys like it sometimes, and you dislike it sometimes, yeah. and then some people subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, hit the uh, subscribe button. And yeah, it's lovely round it. Look at it. Dead nice houses and stuff. Oh, oh that's all right, that one. And that one, that's nice. Getting that one better. Oh, that's a nice house, yeah. It looks like people come here to die, to be honest, because um, <laughs> Ben did say the average age is about 300 a minute ago. You can tell it's an old place, because these coaches are here. Ah, <laughs> yes. And you know old people go on coach tours, don't you? Love it. So anyway, we'll be there in a minute, and uh, we'll do some footage of us driving the cars. It'll be my first time in an R8 Spider. Well, an R8 in general, V10 Plus. So they're like the big horsepowers, aren't they? 610, I think, 620, something like that, yeah. And we've got some electrics and um, just some of the regular stuff. So hopefully so, we get time to go in a ball. Yeah, should be good. Looking forward to it. Soon find out. Don't forget to subscribe Thank if you haven't already merch, done so. Merch, evilgt.com, yeah, get onto that as well. all right. I mean, yeah. the hats are all right. The hats are expensive, but they are good. But yeah, go on there as well, evilgt.com. But make sure you subscribe. That is the most important thing, that yeah. Is it. And watch all the adverts, watch it all the way through, and all the adverts, thanks. And this is the longest intro we've ever done. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to remember. Oh, on Instagram, evilgt cars yeah, on Instagram. That one. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're going in the BMW today. And the reason we're not going in um, an Audi is the RS6 is broke and the RS3 is broke and the RS4 needs washing and we haven't got any other Audis. I don't know where you want me to go, pal. You need to back up. And there's the R8. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know where, where do you go? There's nowhere to go. Typical Audi drivers there. Oh, yeah, I can't see my mirrors though, mate. Alright. Go on, you're alright. There's a cut out back here. Just because you're in your 100 grand car doesn't mean you can just bully us down the road. Looks Doesn't, well in that, okay. does look really nice, that though. So this is a TTRS, yeah? yeah? Kyle Army Green, is that? Is that green? It's definitely green. Right. Thing neutral. Goes into You're neutral. Right. We got there in the end, didn't oh, we? Buddy, you'll be in an Audi in a minute. <laughs> You've got the RSQ3 Sport back there. Okay, yeah. RS4, e-tron GT, S8. That's for someone like you, 64, still likes going fast. Perfect. I do actually like that. The only thing I don't like is the wheels. That's the new Q4 e-tron. Right. So e that's electric as well? That's electric, yeah. That doesn't actually look like electric, does yeah. it? It's got, it's got normal wheels on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be familiar with that because you've got yeah. one. So that's a that's a carbon black though, not a Bosch. Right, okay, that's oh, right. Yeah. So we can't have the spider right? because someone's already oh, yeah. in it. We'll have yeah, to wait yeah. for that one. That's fine. So what they're leaving us with is um, the TTRS. Which I think you should have a go of because they're a good laugh. Yeah. And yeah. an SQ8. But well, you don't like SUVs. This was one that you pointed out saying, oh, I actually quite like the look of that there. Oh, there's a colour more than anything. You like turbo blue? Is that what it's called? Yeah, we never sold any Turbo Blue, anything. Oh, so, TTs, we off, we occasionally sold Turbo Blue TTs, but... Yeah, it's nice. Looks well, that, doesn't it? 450 PS, 444 brake. You'll enjoy this. So, have you driven one of these before? Yeah. Right, so you know exactly how they drive. Yeah. blue car who was in attempting to turn around in a road like this would be absolutely pointless. Oh I remember that actually. And this is Boy, the same. We're gonna have to be quick. We're gonna have to be quick. That gear changed loads quicker yeah. than in uh, in my car, loads quicker than the RS3. Obviously it's a different gearbox but that feels it feels so much quicker. You can tell this is still um, being held back though. Yeah. It definitely feels it's like it's still it. being... But it's got a nice sound out of it. It's not too loud. It drives really well. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I really do <laughs> like it. I don't know if the mic will be able to pick the noise up. Probably just more wind noise. The one thing I don't like about it is the steering. 
at low speeds. It's the too, steering, too much input. You've got to do too much to get it to move. Right. You know we're in a junction here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that third gear. Fourth gives you a bit more, but third's a little bit flat, I think. Second's all right, third's a bit flat. Um, definitely, definitely being held back loads. The best thing about this up to now is them little shifts down. Which is unusual from an Audi, isn't it? They're usually really muted and a bit soft and boring. If you're getting them inside the car, which these are heavily insulated, yeah. but but is it an artificial noise? No. Are they pumping it in? It's definitely not artificial. No. So this green thing behind us, well, you know that I don't like TTs, right? Yeah. I really don't like them. I don't know why, I just don't like the way they look. You said this RS, once you drive it, you'll be amazed. They're good fun, they are just good fun. It takes what is good out the RS3 and just makes it a little bit better. So it's obviously less practical, but it's more fun to drive. Got to get quite close to hear it. Is that where your flaps open, that? Yeah, uh, do you know what? I was thinking exactly the same. Let me give it a rev, see if it changes. Underwhelming is the best way of, of describing that, mate. Not very good. I must admit, the best steering wheel up to now is this half Alcantara suede. Start, stop, drive, select. Everything's here. You don't have to do anything here. Well, they don't have, have, have any anything. center screen. They do that on purpose. They want mm. it to be driver focused. Yeah, so your screen's directly in front of you. There's virtual cockpit. Yeah. Do you know the only other car Perfect. that has that? What? The, the R8. R8. Are you where you want to be now? Are you all the way at the bottom? This, as far as seating position goes, is perfect. You like this? And uh, yeah, it's nice. I mean, the only um, thing behind you is, well, well unless you had an amputee behind you, no offence to amputees, but you, you, there's no way you could have legs uh, there. No chance. Because there's no room. Yeah, so uh, you might as well just set them out and save some weight, put well, some yeah. carbon in there. Yeah. The money you're saving on the leathers, That's put some true. carbon. Get it on eBay. Everyone's going to be happy, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. So, remember how you do this? See. Well, it's the same as yours, isn't it? That's the same knob. It is the same knob. Right. right it's just a bit like the one in the driver's seat. The first thing I've noticed, the suspension is rock hard. It's like being in a go-kart. You like that though? I love it. That's your thing, that mate. I love hard suspension, mate. <laughs> Make but sure it doesn't put your hip out. <laughs> the problem is, the key The key for me is, I love cars like this, yeah. but I hate getting out of them. I know, you look a ride twat when you get out of it. 400 horsepower, only little. It's slightly lighter than the RS3. This oh, is yeah. to 60, it's like a tenth for something like that of a second quicker to 60 mile an hour. But it's it's not it's not so much the the speed of it because you'll be underwhelmed now because you know the RS3 we obviously mapped it didn't we it was yeah. 470 brake I think the performance of this will underwhelm you a little bit but I think you'll find it's actually quite fun and well, there's not many Audis that people say are, are fun to drive but this one is well this already reminds me of your RS3 all I'm doing is I'm sat down just a fraction more and the suspensions are even harder oh, it's, this is harder than when you had your springs done. You love going fast, you don't you? Love going fast, me and mate, yeah. Oh, it's struggle. It is. It's the RS3. <laughs> I'm in a green RS3, that's what it is. <laughs> Good though. It's it is it's way like, more planted, isn't it? Oh, you're going round corners. You're not, you're not moving. But it is a go-kart. Yeah. I know why people say that now. You can hear more of the exhaust, can't you? Manufacturers, you know, Audi and all the others are just like, let's just make cars look different. <laughs> yeah, well, that's effectively if you strip the coupe shell off it, yeah, it'd look exactly the same as the RS3 yeah, underneath. Yeah. Let's see if it's got a turning circle because the other one didn't, the RS4. Five. Five. You're forgetting which cars you're going out in now. Well, they're all the same anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have a bit of manual. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, go on, you made that. Pissed it, mate. Easy. So, that wins over the RS. What's up with the RS, check? Oh, it shifted before me then. That's why it's better to manually shift. There you go, now it's in manual. Oh, this would be great on the racetrack, this, you know. On some better tyres. I think it's on Pirelli's. You just fuck them off. I'll tell you what, you'd have a right laugh on track with this. Because it doesn't move. I know we're not going proper fast, but you can just tell cars you're in yeah. the car. Whereas your RS3, you had to change the springs. Yeah, get it to sit a little bit lower. Yeah. It felt a lot more planted once it, once it was lower down, stiffer springs. But this this is firm straight away, isn't it? Yeah. That's it, sold. I'm 
I just couldn't look. <laughs> I just couldn't look at it. I just couldn't look. Even in green. How yeah, many? I, how many? I love the green. Yeah, the greens. The greens amazing. I mean, it's a nice bright colour. In on a day like this, it's great. In December, it's going to look crap. But I, I couldn't get past the actual way the car looks. I just don't like it. <laughs> But right. the drive of it, the drive of it, you can't complain. Good it's, fun. it's good, yeah. Interesting fact. Go on. Because I'm an Audi fanboy. Yeah. So you see where the badge is on that TT? Yeah. Where is it? On the grill thing. No, it's not on the grill. Where is it? The badge? TTRS, yeah? yeah? That's not the grill, mate. What is it then? Right, if that badge there is on the grill, then we, me and you need to have words. Oh, the, this? The badge? The badge, the Audi badge. Find on the TT thing. No, the badge. Yeah, it's on the bonnet, yeah. Right, do you know the only other car that has that? They are right. Yeah. <laughs> we really wanted to leave this till last, didn't we? But you'll be able to see how good this is, if it is good, because I've never driven one of these either. But it'll be a case of, when we get in the R8 at the end, are you dead sold on electric? Are you like, no chance, I'm sticking with no engines? Chance. I'm sticking with engines. <laughs> I already know what I'm going to say. Why, why would you even ask me that? Well, now? we'll soon see, when you have a go at this. Right, we've seen a lot of lecky cars now, haven't we? Well, we've seen loads, yeah. And I mean, there's well, some the absolute place. monstrosities out there, isn't there? Yeah. There's some really ugly cars. I'm obviously biased, but to me, as lecky cars go, that looks mint. You just said you hate the wheels. I do hate the... Look at the state of them. But I know why they've done it. It's aerodynamics and stuff. I get that. I understand. But they're horrible. I don't horrible. understand aerodynamics, though. I don't understand aerodynamics. I know so that I you're understand. about as aerodynamic as a block of cheese, but they're horrible. But otherwise... But the body shape... I think it looks epic, is that. amazing, yeah. It looks like well, it's for Daytona an, for Grey. For an electric car. For an electric car, that's what I'm saying. Because they're not supposed to look good, are they? Breathe. No, they're not. They don't, because they make them in wind tunnels and stuff. Have the people who used to do the hats on the back seat and the tissues, have they started driving these now? I hope not. Because, do you know the problem with this? What? Is, how do you get a hat and, and, a, and a box of tissues on the back? Well, There's I no think back. I reckon Audi have done that on purpose to make sure that nobody can put a hat and box of tissues on the parcel shelf. Yes. Stick to your Volvos. E-tron GT, just, just... So this isn't the RS, sure this has are. got 470 brake, right. or like 527 I think, with about two and a half seconds worth. Okay, let's have a look in the back. Right. What happened there? Right, I've got to tell you right now. <laughs> you know, the reason the RS6 is in the in to Audi to get fixed, is these stupid door handles. Electronic door handles, just... The thing is, you're so heavy-handed. Like, they're supposed to so be you comfort. you say I broke it? Yeah, they're supposed to be comfort door yeah, handles. Well, how do you want me to open it? Just like, no, no, oh, no, let's just tick. No, you don't oh. have to do that. How hard is it to just go like that? Look, look, that's not hard. It's you pull it a out. tiny it's bit. It's feel though. It's a tiny, they tiny don't feel little good. bit. I was looking in the back here. Right there, horrible. So if you looked in the back, it just looked like a normal Audi. Yeah, they look like they're air conditioned seats as well, thank God. Yeah. Best bit about it, you know how yours, your air conditioning, your climate controls all on a screen, mm -hmm. proper buttons here. Right. I prefer that. But it looks good, it's the first time I'm seeing one of these as well. Are we ready have, to go? Should we have a go then, yeah? Sure, let's go, let's go have a go. Do you want to um, start it up so I can get the exhaust note? <laughs> there, you, there, you, there you go. Is that it? Is that on? That's right. On. I would say that's the quietest up to now then. I mean, these damn OPFs. Right, Mark, <laughs> awesome GTI. <laughs> Sticking a Krapovich on this. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be modifying these. <laughs> this is the fanciest boot I've ever seen. Look at those. Solid that. What's this pillar called? A B? B pillar, yeah. It's stuck into the side of my leg. And I've got no room here. What are you talking about? You're not even in the car. Yeah, look, I'm talking about getting in. Look at that for the B pillar. And look at my knees there. My knees are in the dash. So I want to put the seat back to how I want it, which is... You're not getting anyone behind you. Right, look at that. Yeah, well, I want some room. I'm paying all this money for an electric car. I want some room in it. Are you having that? As far as front ends go. Oh, yeah. Well, front ends of the actual inside of the car. Now, the thing with this uh, gloss black stuff... <laughs> you can see it already. Yeah, in the RS6 is the same. Just gets scratched up straight away. Yeah. But don't you think as well, it, it looks like there's a cover that comes back here. Oh, yeah. you've got a little thing there. Yeah. But there isn't. Yeah, it's good. You like it? Yeah. You could do with the steering wheel out of the TT, though. That steering wheel is a bit poor. Well, that's that's because it's an RS. This isn't an RS, is it? So right. I bet the RS will get one. Okay. I'm just saying. Well. Hashtag just saying. When I heard that they were giving these a noise, yeah. I thought, it's going to sound shit, that. But I think I actually quite like it. Do you know what the most ironic thing I think? The Q8 V8 Thank you. twin turbo was yeah. quieter than this. Yeah, yeah, do you, do you know what it was, yeah. My, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that is, you could have warned me. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> what are you saying about that? That is just stupid. I've got whiplash. <laughs> oh. 
oh that noise sounds mint doesn't it it goes like it's Ooh. just it's crazy isn't it yeah so it we got up crazy. to like 70 then really quick i'm slowing down for 50s here i'm struggling to come to terms with electric but what you what is so addictive is that power delivery it's like flicking a light switch yeah and then it, you're just off it's fucking mad isn't it it's too brutal in a regular engine car when someone puts the foot down you can hear the engine note change and you're like oh right this there's no there's no warning it's just like you'd have to literally be driving like in the passenger seat looking at your foot <laughs> to know that i was about to put my foot down like and i think they've done a real good job of, it looks good of making it it goes well the interior is really you feel like you're in a normal car here. i feel because there's like um there's like a grumble almost it, you, it's like you can feel an engine on have you never driven one I've never driven an electric car. Oh yeah, you're gonna love this. Ever then. driven an electric car. <laughs> <laughs> is that um, I think that's a junction. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is a junction. <laughs> the brakes? Where are the brakes? <laughs> it's got regen braking. You can go right here, you're supposed to be going right. Watch this car. I now. thought it wasn't gonna stop. I pressed the brake <laughs> and there's like a massive delay on the brakes, don't you think? No. <laughs> there was then. No. Where's the but steering's better than on the um, RS5. You're gonna have another go at that? Yeah, I'll have another go at yeah. it. How'd you do it? I've no idea. Right. Did it do it? Uh, no, that wasn't a proper launch control, that. Foot on the brake. Stamp. Yeah, I'm stamped on. On the on the accelerator? Yeah. Go on. Let go? Yeah. Did that just get another shot yeah. then? It did, didn't it? <laughs> it's like... I think that went into second. It was a second win. That was mad. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Do you know what? I never thought an electric car would actually be fun to drive. But this it is, is actually quite good fun. Let <laughs> <laughs> get off the percent a bit. <laughs> it's quick, that. Goes light over the front end, though, don't you think? Yeah. A little bit. So the best thing to do now is keep hold of your RSs and your stuff like that. Because they'll be keep, worth a fortune. It's the fact of you're not going to be able to buy anything like no, that. No, you won't. Bro, you're going to be genuinely really upset now after having a go in something like this. I don't know. <laughs> I'll soon find out. It's just weird. <laughs> it is. It, it's just a weird feeling. Oh, and so the funny fast. thing is, I've been in an electric car before because you took me out. Oh yeah, in the uh, big e-tron. Yeah, but driving it is a different, and it's like overtaking. You can just overtake people dead easy. No problem. Yeah. Because if you're in auto and you're tootling along at 50, chances are it'll be in like 7 for summer. Yeah. You then go and floor it and it'll be like delay because it's dropping down the gears. This, it just cracks on, doesn't it? People go on about range anxiety. What didn't we check before we left? I did. 199 miles it had on it. Right. Well, I didn't. I did. 199. And it's on 193. So anyone saying range anxiety, I never had anything when I got in. So you had the anxiety, yeah? I didn't. Are we going to no. get broken down? I didn't, but I did check. Right. I did check to see how many miles were in it. Obviously, I knew these guys weren't going to leave it with like 10 miles range or something. Okay. But I did just look. But that's the same as any car, because especially after you, I'm used to getting in it with no fuel. So I checked it. It was 199 miles. But to be fair. We've been driving around like dickheads then. Yeah. Sorry, Audi. But that's used six miles. The thing is with the range on these, if you drive electric cars, any electric cars, not just this one, if you drive them the same as you would drive your normal engine car, you won't have a very good range. You change, when you get used to these, you change how you drive these cars because yeah. they have regenerative braking. If you, if you drive around steady like places like this, you will never touch the brake pedal because you can regen off the paddles on the steering wheel. So they're not gear selectors, right. they're for regen braking. Right. So so if I want to slow down? Yeah, just to pull that. No, it didn't work. <laughs> I nearly went into the wall. <laughs> but we can't leave this one out because you say to me, this is the best car ever. One of the best Audis ever. I mean, you, you're literally twisting everything I say. Do you like this car? It drives better than it looks for you. You don't like the look of it. No, you do say. But they're very, very good. You'll like this. You will like this. I, mean, I like this bit here. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's nice. Do you know what's a shame though? You yeah. don't get to see the V10. So in the coupe, obviously you get the glass. Yeah. So you can see the V10 properly. Yeah. But in this, you don't get to see it. So. The only thing that really puts me off is these blades. The blades at the side, the carbon. Yeah. See, I quite like them. Out of all the ones we started up today, yeah. this should be the best by a long way. It's 
loads quieter than the pre OPF though. Yeah, oh, it's loads quieter still. It's quiet for a V10, but it's still nice. Give it a little blip. Sounds good, that mate. I'm happy yeah, with that. It does. Are we ready? We'll have that. One thing I will say yep. don't be tricked into thinking that you can just floor this, the arse end will go. Okay. I found that, that out. Is that your way of saying don't be a dickhead? Don't be a dickhead. But they, they do genuinely, it'll uh, it'll step out. You put it in manual, you want it in manual. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. That's what I do. Ops, ops, mate. So, straight away, I've got no room, but that's standard. That was like the Huracan, wasn't it? That was exactly the same as the Huracan. So, this is about us. To be fair, I'm actually in really good position here. Yeah, I you feel like that. really comfortable. Nice. Arms are slightly bent. I would say just a tiny bit more on the uh, leg room. Yeah. We can't have everything, right? No. Ironically enough, I had more room in the TT. Yeah. <laughs> which is weird. Which is a smaller car. Because this is way bigger. Um, I'll tell you one thing I have noticed though, and again, I know I'm biased, so I'm going to get loads of shit, but in my opinion, this is a better quality interior than what, what was in that Huracan. Yeah, this is miles better. Miles better. But just driving it off the car park then, it just feels so good. How comfy is that suspension? That's better. It dampens better than the TTRS. Oh, it dampens better. It's yeah. still hard. It's still stiff. Yeah. But it's not. It's not like bangy it and crashy. It... Oh, it sounds so good. Sounds so good. <laughs> now the brakes are so good. It's on ceramics. I don't know, but that stops. <laughs> that noise sounds epic, doesn't it? So we're, we're averaging a, a very, very conservative 9.8 miles to the gallon. I'm happy with that, it's not mine, I don't give a shit. V10 stands for 10 miles to the gallon. <laughs> Do you know what the problem we've got now, and I didn't think this. What? You can't go out in anything else. Why? Well, what's the point? Well, it's going to be shit, isn't it? Well, of course it is. <laughs> Let's go on. I've never driven one of these. Yep. So I've driven the A8, obviously loads, but I've never driven an S8. So it'd be interesting to see, because it's massive, yeah. how good it would be with a V8 in it. Yeah, V8 twin turbo, same engine as the RS6? Yeah, no. Right. Uh, well, yeah, detuned and same, detuned. same engine that's in the SQ8. Okay, so very quiet in the SQ8. Yeah. So, um, should we do it? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you want me to open the door for you? I will, if you don't mind. Come on then. Thanks, mate. No problem. What's your name today? Is it Jeeves? Jeeves. Oh, no back chat today. In hell, somebody small's been in this, even smaller than me. You can't call me dickhead I'm in the back. <laughs> uh, no, I won't, mate, I promise. Has it got soft clothes? Yeah, it's got soft clothes, you'll be glad to know. First one today. You probably won't hear me in the back because I'm so far away. <laughs> but you need like a megaphone or something. <laughs> It sounds well, actually. You reckon, yeah? Yeah, I think it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a luxury limo, isn't it? It shouldn't it's sound car, like yeah. that. It shouldn't sound like that, but it, uh, it does sound all right. I tell you what, do you want to go in it though? Do you want to drive it? No. <laughs> Why? 
but I can't drive it. I am not driving another car now after I've just got out of that RE. That, to be fair, that is... It's uh, just going to ruin the experience. So that is it, our first uh, press event. And uh, I think, it, to be honest, it's a lot of people's first press event because there's loads of guys there, isn't there? Yeah, there's loads and loads. People filming there and these guys over here. Do you think we did it justice? Well, we'll soon find out. If you like the video, hit like. Yeah, so thank you very much to Gavin yep. and to Laura, who helped us out. And I mivered Gavin quite a lot. He's head of press and PR. So uh, we didn't get invited. I invited I invited us. That's what every, everyone goes to a party, invite themselves. Don't yeah, of course you do, yeah. yeah. So, um, so yeah, thank you very much for having us, obviously. We'll go and say thanks to him personally now anyway. But I've really enjoyed that. Yeah, really I, enjoyed I did that. as well. And hopefully it come across well on video. We're not professional car reviewers. Yeah. So, um, yeah, thanks to Audi and everyone who's yeah, um, organised it. Pizza was good as well, actually. Pizza was amazing. Yeah. We didn't get our strawberries, though. So oh, no, I forgot no, about that. Note to self, make yeah. sure we get the strawberries next yeah. time. So uh, hopefully we're uh, invited on the next one. So bearing that in mind, subscribe, and then you'll see the next one we go to. Hopefully it's like Germany somewhere, CLT. Yeah. Cheers, guys. See you later. Ta -ra. I don't think we said what our favourite car was. Mine was the V8, uh, the R8, the V10. <laughs> so, I don't think we... <laughs> right, so I'm going again. Hell, you've got going one again. job. I'm the going amount again. videos we've done. I'm going now. again. I'm going hell. again. Like a dog with a bone. I'm going again. <laughs> so, well, I don't think we said what our favourite car was. So, um, mine was the uh, R8. V V10 plus. Oh, you nearly yeah, anyway, anyway, yeah, that was mine. But I hate R8s, which is weird. But I did like that one. What was yours? Uh, on. I think I would say is that, that e with a with a capital F. Think with a capital F, two Fs. I'd say the e-tron GT. Right. Okay. I think uh, I don't know whether that's my yeah. favourite or me most surprising. All right. Yeah, we'll go with that. So yeah, I so, actually really like that car. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with most favourite R8 all day long. Anyway, so that is definitely the end of the video, apart from this one thing we said before, the RS6 is broke and the RS3 is broke, but they're now fixed. The RS3, a bolt had come loose from the, um, the heat, shield. heat shield around the exhaust and just wedged. It sounded like a mechanical failure, but it's fixed now, no issues. Mark from Awesome GTI, Johnny, Patrick, everyone's fixed it. Legends. Great. Legends, as, as always. And the RS6, the door handle, the electronic door handle, locked my wife into the car and um, it was all messed up and I think that's getting fixed so all is well so if you comment and say oh what's wrong with them cars it just means that you don't watch to the end of the video so we're not even replying to you goodbye <laughs>